Hello 588. I'd like to say good morning to everyone and to remind you that in this particular lecture on lecturing, it was important for me to hear what you had to say about the advantages and disadvantages of this strategy. I have allergies and because of the allergies, my voice tends to give out. So I had to use a microphone almost all of the time. This wasn't always helpful because during that process, I had to clear my throat like I'm going to do right now. <coughs> do you see how distracting that is? So one of the things to consider if you have to be the person doing the lecture is what are your personal attributes like? What happens when you speak? Do you clear your throat a lot? Do you say, mm? Do you use words that are difficult for other people to understand? One of the things that I like to do is to do an outline for the lecture to keep me on track. Excuse me again. <coughs> Next, by doing your lecture, or at least the first few paragraphs of it, using YouTube or just your video camera, you can easily tell whether or not you are going to be a person who is easy to listen to, who doesn't become a distraction during the lecture. Lectures are always going to be a part of our lives. I hope you will use this opportunity to view my recording. See, I just stopped. And to work a little bit on your own voice quality, explaining to your audience perhaps what your own particular um, abilities are and disabilities in terms of being able to speak publicly, not being embarrassed by how you look. I don't know if you noticed, but I have not put on makeup. I don't have on a fancy suit. Um, and I'll do one of those for you later on so that you can see the difference in how I look when I take a moment to do that. Anyway, thank you for your attention. And if you'd like to post your own video to this forum, please feel free to do so. Thank you.